Well, indeed, let's get more on the situation there with Yanos Papantonio. Yanos is a, a Greek politician and former Minister of Defense, National Economy and Finance, and the main architect behind the country's economic reforms in the late 90s that led to the implementation of the euro, and he's there in Athens live for us. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, uh, Yanos. First up, uh, how did we get to uh, Greece? How did Greece end up in Papa such a mess? Antonio. Papa Antonio, sorry. How Papa did we... Antonio, Papa Antonio, yes. How did we get into such a, a mess in Greece? Well, we got into, the, into this mess because in the last few years there has been a very uh, great fiscal laxity in the last five years. The public debt grew very much and at the same time um, reforms stalled in the last six years. So competitiveness has been weakened, uh, the trade deficit increased very much and the economy is not in a position to join the, the, the world economic recovery. So now we need very deep reforms on the fiscal front and the competitiveness front to redress the economy. And I believe that the uh, activation of the European mechanism is Greece's last chance to avoid default. Now the government should speed up, uh, should produce reforms at a very fast and effective rate, and of course it should convince the people to support these reforms because otherwise Greece's economic future is bleak. Yes, we, we, we talked quite a lot about the fiscal side, but what about the competitive side? What needs to be done there? Uh, a huge wave of new privatizations, uh, liberalizing Greek economy. The Greek economy is the last Soviet economy in, in Europe. There is too much state intervention, too much state ownership. So we should liberate the economy from all these obstacles, remove barriers to competition, remove barriers to entrepreneurship, and let the private in, uh, investment initiative ta take on and uh, support the economy to recover. Because if we only rely on fiscal measures, then we may get into a trap. Uh, fiscal measures reduce income, reduced income uh, reduces taxes, the fiscal deficit widens, we are called to, uh, to bring forth new fiscal measures and then we enter into an endless recession. So to avoid this trap we need measures both on the fiscal side and the competitiveness side and liberalization side so to sustain the, the economy, avoid a deep recession and eventually lay the basis for a recovery in, a, in, in two years time. Yeah, are you confident that the government there has the will to do it? Because we've already seen people taking to the streets, that can only get worse. Well, uh, the government is strong. It has uh, recently won a very big election uh, with 11 percentage points ahead of, its, uh, of, its, uh, of the opposition party. The prime minister is, is popular and I believe he does have the will and the capacity to lead the country out of this mess. Of course, uh, he will need to build a, a substantial social consensus, but my understanding is that, um, from my experience, personal experience in the 90s, is that trade unions, if uh, uh, they are talked into the system, if they are uh, there is a dialogue with them, they can be convinced to support these measures. Of course, they would be painful, but they would be less painful than what would follow if, Greece's, if Greece fails. Yeah, I mean, what are the chances of that happening? I mean, there's no way that the rest of the Eurozone could allow Greece to actually go bust. Well, uh, I, I'm not a prophet, but uh, I'm optimistic. You know, in the early 90s, when I uh, took the uh, finance ministry in 93, 94, and I stayed there for eight years, nobody believed that Gre Greece could join the euro. I was perhaps the only person who believed that in Greece. Eventually, we got in because the people were convinced. I believe that we can do that again. Right. OK, let's talk about the other, the credibility of the statistics there. I mean, you say that there was no question of uh, your statistics being anything but true and you at the, at the helm. But now, how are we to believe what we see? Well, first of all, so far as the Greece entry into the euro is concerned, this has been a very big lie. It was uh, one should not be taken by the passion of uh, inter-party disputes in Greece. Uh, the Conservative government in 2004 changed the rules and uh, the change in the figures resulted from this change of the rules, not the change of the figures themselves. Now, so far as the current situation is concerned, again, I think we should take uh, some care in treating the figures. Giannis? The previous government hid, hid, yes, hid the figures before the October yeah. elections.